Hi everyone, my artist I chose was Paul Klee, who is a Swiss-born German artist from the year 1879 to 1940. So, for my three pieces of art that I chose from this guy, I categorize into the first one being my favorite, the second one being the weirdest and creepiest one, and then the third one being the one that I think describes him the most, and instead of putting, writing down three sentences, I decided to just kind of put bullet points of things that come to, head, to my head when looking at this. But I think, as my favorite, I'm, I'm, I really like cats, so this one kind of caught my eye right away, um, because this is definitely a cat, as you can see with the whiskers, the eyes, the ears. There's a few other weird things about this that make you question what's going on but it seems like an overall kind of like a portrait of a cat's head a little oversized head um, the thing that struck me the most and the most confusing was the bird or bird-like figure in between the eyes of the cat um, like on its forehead uh, I'm trying to I, I haven't figured out what the meaning of that was but it's kind of a simple figure. Everything about uh, Paul Klee's art is pretty simple, it seems, and he used a lot of, from my research, it seems like he used a lot of watercolor, and it's just, it's, what I what I feel is this is, his art's a bit childish in a way. Um, really messy and kind of scratchy, um, blushy colors, um, and, outlined with looks like maybe pencil or some sort of um, yeah but a lot of a lot of watercolor moving on to the one that creeped me out the most um, I feel like you can you can see why it would creep you out the most but um, a lot different not as colorful uses only I'd say maybe two two maybe three different colors maybe four but what I get away from this is this some sort of person, because I, I that's the body, the eyes. But what creeps me out is the oversized head, which is another re reoccurring theme from Paul Klee's art, whenever he draws some sort of figure. Um, the big eyes, the weirdly shaped head, and just the unproportionate body, which is kind of funny, the small legs and just bigger upper body. Um, but I noticed a lot of overlapping kind of just lines on the face, kind of not necessarily a well round, like, how should I say, well designed face. Like, you can't see where the mouth is or the nose. You can just see the eyes, the ears, the, the jaw, the neck. Those are the only things you can really depict. But again, it's really scratchy and, and messy. Um, I'm not sure if this is made with watercolor could be but mainly with pencil and I'm not sure what else uh, yeah and the last one the best one that I think describes Paul Klee as an artist is very colorful um, a lot of heat um, hot colors besides green but it's it's a really I just feel when I see this it's really boxy like the colors he used are kind of formed in, it seems like almost like one stroke, you know, with a with a thick um, brush. It's kind of just like boxy strokes. But I, it's hard to depict a story from this, because you can see, I mean, you can, I see houses and structures with, with stairs and trees, and I see a moon at the top with two stars. Uh, fences at the bottom. I can't tell if that's a figure of a head, kind of like below the sun in the middle next to that tree. It's really difficult to figure out what's going on in this. Um, but one thing that does kind of creep me out, but you can kind of notice is if you see that sun in the middle, you can actually see like an eyeball and like an eyebrow. 
Um, I can't. I won't lie. It's I. I didn't see that right away when I first looked at this, but at, over time, I can see almost like a similar to this one. It's a kind of a boxy looking head, oversized head. But if you look at here, it, you can kind of see maybe a mouth near the sun or pretty much inside the sun and it almost makes a face like a half of a face and some of it's faded out um, really interesting um, but what drew me to Paul Klee was his use of watercolor because I, I enjoy watercolor and uh, it's simple yet pretty fun to make new colors but he's he's kind of went to extremes with it but after looking through a lot of his art I noticed that a lot of his art is is typically like this, these type of colors. I'd say this one is, is kind of out there. I haven't seen more like this, but a lot like this one too. But overall, um, a lot of things going on with this. Really colorful, boxy, kind of childish um, art, which I like a lot. And that is it. Thank you.